Hello, welcome back to Battle Brothers. I'm Shade Star. I'm Alish. And this is the ruins of Borjin, and right off the bat we can't see who's here. I don't like that. I like knowing what I'm getting into. Yeah, it would have been nice to see this ahead of time, huh? Yeah, um... <laughs> hey, rude. You shot Pawn. Uh, these are... Well, let's, let's take a little look, because I'm thinking the ranks are too deep. I mean, it's almost... Not... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's let's take a look at what we're up against here. So those aren't even poachers, those are marksmen. Yeah, those are dangerous. Uh, and all of the ones with melee weapons are raiders, uh, and no thugs. They're all wearing chainmail. They all have good helmets. A couple of them don't have shields, but they're all wearing good armor. Yeah, this looks like a pretty fair fight. Um, well, Which you say bad. that. You never want to be in a fair fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you say this looks like a fair fight. Uh, I, I would disagree. I would say this looks like a fight I don't want to be a part of. Like I said, a fair fight. <laughs> no, I think this is actually uh, balanced on their uh, on the enemy side. So I'm going to pull up uh, two optional options here. Uh, I don't usually play with this, but given what we're doing, it speeds things up a little bit. That's nice uh, that they're not charging in, making this well, a little bit easier. Yeah, they have a range advantage. They want to sit there and let those four marksmen pick me apart on the way in. And um, those four marksmen will be able to do that. Maybe if I had better armor, some better shields, more defense or whatever, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable with this. But... Each of those raiders is probably as well equipped and as skilled as our best uh, melee fighters. Like, maybe not as good as Mojangles uh, or Travelog, but the other guys, certainly. And especially, they're going to be better than some of our shit guys, like uh, Hardgay, Sullet, and I think even uh, Wow Cow only has about 55 melee skill. The guys that are on the other side, the raiders probably have closer to 60, 65. So I don't think we would really be good one-on-one -on -one in a stand-up fight, even against the raiders. Let alone that they've got four marksmen who are thankfully missing the shit out of Mr. Yar. But yeah. this was not a fight I wanted to wade into. Uh, outnumbered, outgeared, probably even outmatched man for man. This was not a fight I wanted. So, uh, the rule's about retreating. It's 12v12. 12v13. So, here's uh, the rules for retreating. Uh, anybody who's not on the edges of the map will get a serious injury. This is kind of like those uh, fractured hands, pierced thigh muscles, whatever. Um, so, you can retreat even if you're in the thick of combat and everybody gets an injury, but you all get out alive. That makes sense. I'm okay with that. However, I need to get all the way to the edge of the screen to make a retreat without causing crippling injuries to everybody. The enemy's not pursuing. Even if they did, they're so many tiles away, they're not going to catch up to me. I don't feel I should have to spend the next four turns or however long it's going to take to reach the edge of the screen. It's probably something a little bit difficult to automate. It is. Like to judge uh, whether or not this guy would get away safely or not. Well, here's the simple way you do that. Are they five hexes away from any other enemies? Four hexes is movement range, uh, so if they're outside of the ability to be closed in on in one turn, just let them escape without an injury check. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. Maybe tie it to visual range. If they can't see your guys when you retreat, and they don't yeah. have any more actions this turn. That just kind of is the same thing as mine, but sets the threshold up from about five hexes to seven. Which is fair. It would save me the time of just having to back everybody up to the edge. Yeah. I mean, as jokey as it is, you, you really, in this sort of game, you never want to be in a fair fight. Because if everything went evenly in a fair fight, you would expect to lose a bunch of your people. Right, and that just wouldn't be profitable. Yeah, as a player, you, you don't want to lose anybody. Any losses are difficult to replace. I got a few people on my roster that wouldn't be hard to replace. 
Yeah, but it, especially as the game goes on, it's like losing a high SP player in Blood Bowl. They may not be particularly valuable, and not having rolled doubles, but it still takes time to get them their skills. True. I, I think that analogy falls apart a little bit in Battle Brothers when you take, say... I, let's just say, take Hargay, because he is clearly at the bottom of my roster right now. <laughs> Let alone the fact that he has the, the traumatized injury from surviving death. Um, just his base stats at level 5 or so aren't as good as some of the recruits. Like, Mojangles got recruited and was already ahead of the game and better uh, at melee attack than nine of the other people in my roster that had levels and experience. Yeah, so and, and I can recruit that. Mm. But just in general, the people who are going to stick around to high levels are probably going to be people who you've invested time and skills into. And even with raw stats, having five levels of perks is... It ain't nothing. It's true. But hey, we finally all made it to the edge of the map. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the faster movements. And then we're going to retreat and get the heck out of here, because, um, well, fuck this. Yeah. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to cancel our contract, and that's going to have some negative repercussions that I will cover in the posts. But, um, yeah. There are fights out there that sometimes you just don't want to be a part of. <laughs> 1,300 crowns isn't worth dying for. No. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, we'll see you next time, when hopefully we have a little better luck. I've been allish. <laughs> God damn it.